turn off the training tapes. What do they okay. want? What don't they want? He's taken six, seven, eight steps. To and that's when NFL officiating hit a new low. Welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm Brandon Perna. Who is your favorite NFL official? Oh, you don't have one? Well, you better change that because NFL refs are taking over games with alarming authority. My favorite official is 69-year-old Tony Carrenti, and it's not even close. He's the only NFL official literally willing to put his ass on the line and on the players to get the call made. Tony, 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 where can I buy a Tony Carrenti jersey? That's what I want to know. If... You're like me, and you watched the Bears-Steelers Monday Night Football game. You felt like the Bears were disproportionately penalized all night. And then in the fourth quarter, after Cassius Marsh sacked Ben Roethlisberger on third and eight, well out of field goal range, this happened. At the conclusion of the play, taunting defense number 59. 15-yard oh. penalty will create a first down. And it was a big win for the officials. Cassius Marsh looked at the team that just cut him and was flagged for staring. I mean taunting. But to me, he's looking at the sideline from the hash. Why are we throwing a penalty there? Enabling the Steelers to extend their drive, kick a field goal, and take a six-point lead, which would ultimately cost the Bears the game. Today, I examine how bad this call was and determine if the game was fixed. That's good sports. Please subscribe here and thumbs up the uh, video if you are infuriated with NFL officiating. Today's episode is sponsored by manscaped.com slash good sports. And it's the holidays. What gave that away? Manscaped and That's Good Sports are like peanut butter and jelly, sports cars and midlife crises, or holidays and perfectly packaged gifts. That's why the performance package is the perfect gift for this holiday season. It's got the oomph of that sports car I just referenced. See, you thought that was random. Ladies, Listen, the performance package with the lawnmower 4.0 really is the best gift. Whatever one of these is the lawnmower really is the best gift you can give this holiday season because it's sort of a gift for yourself. I'm not here to give relationship advice, but if you let a guy know you're thinking about his lower torso area with the gift, your shopping is done because it has everything a man needs for below the belt grooming. It really feels like you're receiving multiple gifts in just one box. Right now, Manscaped is offering their biggest discount yet. In addition to their two free gifts, the travel bag and the anti-chafing boxer briefs, which I'd repurpose for stocking stuffers if I were you, Manscaped's 20% off holiday sale is happening right now. Did you forget it's the holidays? Maybe this will remind you. Don't miss it. Manscaped.com today. Shop it. Do it now. Let's begin with why this specific taunting penalty was so costly. It gave the Steelers a six point lead with just a couple minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, which the Bears actually overcame. They overcame that. They scored a lead taking touchdown with a minute 46 left on the clock. Justin Fields made back to back great throws to get the Bears the TD, but, but, and the butt is as big as Tony's sticking out here. That only gave them a one point lead instead of what should have been a four point lead, which means the Steelers only needed a field goal to take back the lead and win the game. The Steelers got that field goal after the Bears were flagged on back to back plays for lining up in the neutral zone. I could argue the validity of those calls as well, but I won't because the Steelers were successful on both of those plays regardless of the half inch the Bears may have been in the neutral zone. And Matt Nagy needs to coach his young quarterback to take off more time between plays when you're trying to close out a game. I'm not even mad about the non-roughing calls on Justin Fields 
in his first good NFL performance. Earlier in the game, the Bears were flagged for roughing Ben Roethlisberger, and in a similar situation, the Steelers were not flagged for roughing Fields. That's par for the course, though, for NFL officiating. Uh, it is my opinion neither of these hits should be flagged. The contact is not egregious, and it's not that late, but the issue fans have is that within one game, NFL officials refuse to call it consistently for both teams. We all get that every single crew is gonna call each game differently, and that's part of the NFL, but we do demand it be the same for both teams within the same game. Justin Fields also took a shot by Minka Fitzpatrick early in the game that was not penalized, which I'm also okay with. Fields lowers his shoulder and embraces the contact there, and that does occur in bounds. Fields will learn to just run out in the future. Uh, the Bears are still a bad team, and when you're a bad team, you make too many mistakes. They were penalized 12 times for 115 yards, many of them deserved, but when you are a bad team playing against the officials and playing surprisingly well in prime time against a popular team like the Steelers, the bad calls are going to be magnified. It felt like the refs were out to get the Bears. But sadly, that's just the NFL now. So let's look back to the one play that in my opinion cannot be enforced. The one that does indeed make this look like a fixed game. It's Tony Carrente throwing the flag for taunting while intentionally thrusting his butt into Cassius Marsh's hip as he runs off the field. The video evidence is here. For whatever reason, Carrente, without question, intentionally gave Marsh a hip check. And it just happened to occur at the same time he was reaching for his flag to penalize him for a taunt that did not occur. Let me say that again. Carrente threw a flag for a penalty that didn't happen while intentionally initiating contact with the player. This was Marsh after the game. On my way to the sideline, I got hip checked by the ref and it's, it's pretty clear. Uh, if I were to do that to a ref or even touch the ref, you know, we get kicked out of the game and possibly suspended and fined. So I just think that that was incredibly inappropriate. I can totally accept that Tony Carrente was already reaching for his flag as Mar Marsh is jogging by him, but there's no way you can convince me he didn't hip check him. The same way you couldn't convince me Markeef Morris didn't deserve this hit by Jokic. Uh, Cassius Marsh could learn from Morris though. Next time the ref hip checks you, flop to the ground hard and pretend to be in pain. If Tony Carrente can't keep his balance while pulling the flag, he's too damn old to be officiating. Why is a 69 year old man out there anyway? After the game, he said the hip check was not intentional and that it had nothing to do with the flag. Again, I can buy that. Senior citizens do move in weird ways. Uh, you know how I know Tony is too old though? He should have just flagged Marsh for hitting Big Ben too hard like a smart young official would have done. The part that should anger you as an NFL fan is what he said in regard to the taunting penalty that affected the outcome of the game. Carinti's words. First of all, keep in mind that taunting is a point of emphasis this year. <laughs> Tony must not have the internet because we know Tony, we know it's a point of emphasis. And him saying that is basically admitting it's okay for him to make bad calls on that penalty this year because the NFL is literally enabling him to do so. He went on, and with that said, I saw the player after he made a big play run toward the bench area of the Pittsburgh Steelers and posture in such a way I felt he was taunting. There's the problem. An official can feel that it was a taunt. Doesn't need evidence. You can feel anything is a taunt. He assumed a taunt happened because of Marsh's posture. That's like me assuming you have spina bifida because of your posture. And then you just sit up and are like, dude, I was slouching, chill. Carinti thinks this is running towards the bench. He said he was running towards the bench. I call that swagging towards the bench. And you can see Marsh says nothing, which means technically speaking, he was flagged for looking at the Steelers. That is a problem. It's why so many of us have been so 
critical of this stupid emphasis. This emphasis negated one of the best plays of the game. That is not good for football. We just saw this same penalty hurt the Giants in the fourth quarter of their primetime loss on Monday Night Football last week against the Chiefs. Shitty teams are being penalized when they surprisingly make good plays. And you can now argue it cost both the Giants and the Bears a win. Let bad teams beat themselves, okay, NFL? I think we all believe the Bears would have figured out how to choke that win away. They don't need your help to lose, neither do the Giants. The Jaguars, well, they did need your help, and you delivered. The NFL can fix this, though, with one phone call, one simple call. But Roger Goodell is too busy, counting the $128 million he made over the last couple years, <laughs> to care about the integrity of the game. The NFL does not care about the game of football. They do not care what the fans think of the product. They do not care that even Steelers fans felt bad for the Bears. They do not care penalties like this make the game harder to watch because guys like John Mara, Giants owner, need to exercise their power and control over other men. And the sight of excitement after a good play is disgusting to them. It makes them sick. So pick your favorite referee and become a fan of bad calls. I suggest whoever is in charge of Steelers games. The Steelers have the highest penalty yardage differential in the NFL dating back to 2015, which means the Steelers' opponents get flagged more than anyone else in the league, while the Steelers get flagged the fewest times. Now, I do credit part of that to Mike Tomlin being a great head coach, coaching a well-disciplined team, but I also credit the officials for seeing the black stripes on their uniforms and associating themselves with the Steelers. Here's a better way to look at NFL officials moving forward. Yeah, the black and gold, baby. Was this game fixed? No, the Steelers didn't even cover the spread. However, the NFL is asking referees to emphasize judgment calls, which is horrible for the game. Let me know if you agree. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching That's Good Sports. Rant about the crappy NFL officiating. Please check out my best and worst episode on the screen right now, covering everything that happened in the NFL this last week.